Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christine and today I have got three separate thrift hauls to film back to back. It's a gloomy, overcast day. I just got back from running the horses. Oh, you are so cute. And honestly, there's not many projects I can work on outside, but it's the perfect day to film thrift hauls. And to be honest, my dining room is starting to look a shambles. This is where I put everything. I just store everything in here so that I can film it and show you guys some of the good finds. And then I get to decorate with it. So this is what I've collected over the last month or so from thrift stores and flea markets. I went back and forth to California a couple times in the last three weeks. So I got some good finds there but let's just get to it. Okay, hopefully I can separate these out so I remember where I got them and how much I paid. So we'll start with everything local first, and then I think I'll do California on other videos. So some of this I don't even remember because it feels like it's been forever. Oh, I do remember this. Look how adorable. This little bird, so beautiful. This is an oil painting, and at first I thought it was from a big box store, but then I could see this is definitely painted by someone, and you did a great job, whoever you are. Why would you get rid of this? This is so beautiful to me. Those colors are so gorgeous. And I love little birds, so this is right up my alley. I'm gonna put a big chunky frame on this and find somewhere awesome to hang this. So, so cute, I love this. And I only paid a dollar. Are you kidding me? A dollar for that gorgeous painting. You did a great job, whoever did that. There's no name on it anywhere. No, there's no name on it. I wish there was, but such a beautiful job. And then next, oh, I remember this. It's just a little, um, there's a tag in there. It says it's matte sea green. That's actually why I bought it, is I love that color. But it's just the bottom to a planter. Everything needs to be cleaned really well, obviously, but I just love that color and I'll use that for one of my planters. So, so pretty. And I paid $1.50 for that. And then these are all wrapped. I usually unwrap them, but I thought it would be fun to unwrap them with you guys. So, oh, I remember these cute little just little white. I'm gonna use them as coasters on the coffee table and you know I love anything that's white. Just that clean, crisp look. These are so cute. And they were only a dollar for four of them. Libby, I don't think that's anything special, but a dollar for four and then eight cute little coasters. And then these are wrapped. Oh, I remember, these are awesome. These are so cute. They are just itty bitty little bowls. You can see how tiny, but if I remember right, yep, they are Homer Laughlin. And I never find these anywhere. And if you know Homer Laughlin, you know, that these are a good score, but in fact, I'll move the little tag a little bit so you can see, you can see that just a little bit better. Such a really pretty stamp, but, and these were only 75 cents a piece, which is such a great deal. Yep, 75 cents a piece. I got four of them. These will be excellent, just styled on a little hutch in my kitchen, but I love them. And they're just itty bitty. So cute. Oh my gosh, they're cute. 
And then I think this is just a planter. Yep, I love these. I buy them every time I see them at the thrift store. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. I love these. They're good for gifts with plants or for around the house. So I always buy these. A dollar each for those. And then this, oh my gosh, I might have to do that later. Maybe, I don't know. It is so heavy. I got these, I got two of them. The other one's over there and I'm not gonna try and lift it. They are so heavy, but they are huge corbels. Can you see that even? Just massive corbels. And I originally wanna try and use these. Maybe I should flip it over so you can see how it actually looks. That's what it's actually supposed to look like. And I want to try and use these somehow for my fireplace. But for now, I think I'm just going to style them on a hutch that I have. But they are gorgeous. And I found them on Facebook Marketplace. I paid $65 for the two of them. And I thought that was a great deal. And there's just so much detail and heftiness to them that I love these. In fact, I need to set this down. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this goodie bag. This is all from, did I say already? This is from the Desert Industries thrift store that's here locally. Oh, I remember these cuties. These are so funny. Look how cute. There's two of them, and these are hefty. These are big. Oh my gosh, these are really heavy. I don't know why, but little bookends. Are they adorable? I love these. I think they have so much character and so much charm. They are so cute, and these were only $2 a piece. I don't know if you can even see that very well. But how cute are they? And they're pretty big. But I'm going to use these for the rental apartment on the bookshelf. I think they will be so cute with a bunch of books stacked in between them. And I love these little guys. They're so cute. So two bucks a piece for those. Okay, and then oh, these two. These are normally, you've all seen these before, they hang on the wall as like a little shelf, but I love to use them as bookends. They're perfect for bookends. They sit beautifully on a bookshelf with some books under them, some books in between them. I love the look of them. They're really quite detailed in that shabby white paint. So I loved these two and they were $1.50 each or for the pair? Oh, no, $1.50 each. So I will use those as bookends as well. And then, oh, this is so cute. It's just a little egg holder, ceramic egg holder, but I love this so much. I think it's just the color. It's just a happy, bright, sunny yellow. And so I'm gonna use this just for some farm eggs. So, so cute. And this was only $1.50. So why not? So cute and happy. I love that. And then these are just some tea towels from Ikea. You guys have seen these before, but I happen to really like those little stripes on them and love to just kind of drape them over uh, little bowls and stuff on the hutch. I love those. So I just got a couple of those at Ikea. And I can't remember how much they are. I think they're like maybe 50 or 60 cents. Um, but they're just a really pretty tea towel. So I got those. And then, oh, this is another really good find just a really pretty platter. I love that shape, just the long, 
platter, but if I remember, it is also a Homer Laughlin, which is such a great find. And I wonder if I found these at the same store on the same day. I'm thinking I did. I must have, and I hope I didn't miss out on some others that were there. I can't even really remember this day, but just a good deal. And this one was only $1.50. So I'm happy with that. That'll be beautiful. And then I got these three baskets from Savers Thrift Store. And I wish they were a little bit bigger, but there's three of them and they're stackable. So I'll definitely find something to use these for. I like the tone of wood. They're a pretty good size. I just wish they were a little bit bigger, but they were only five. 49 for three of them with the little handles. So I'll definitely find something to use these for. They're quite cute. And then, oh, I remember this. This is so pretty. I just love the shape of this. Kind of like a little teardrop and that little simple design on it. Just the little leaves in there. I thought I could use this for a soap dish or your rings or your coins. I don't know. I just thought this was so beautiful. And this was only 75 cents. I'm trying to see the label underneath. I can't really tell if it's anything special. I don't think so. There's the label. I'm not sure if I've ever seen it before or something about American green, but 75 cents for this sweet little bowl. I love that. And then, oh, same with this. Look how pretty that is. I love the little handles and all the little texture on it and just that really light kind of vintage. It's kind of got that vintage vibe to it, that color green. I think is so pretty and I can use this for a little soap bowl or I don't know, just a beautiful little decoration. And this was only 75 cents as well. And then this is very dirty. I need to clean this, but I just loved this wood bowl and how it's just so worn. I love how all of that is just faded off. The light color of the wood is so beautiful to me. And then just the worn look of it. It says it was made in Japan. And I just think that is so pretty to display, especially that side right there where all of that is so worn off. And then the inside of the bowl is really pretty. It needs to be cleaned. Again, everything needs to be cleaned, but just that beautiful wood. I love that whitewashed wood. And that was only a dollar. Better put that over there. And then same with this. I love just that weathered wood look. And this is just a box. I think it's a jewelry box, but just this beautiful, worn, weathered wood. It's got some cracks in it, which I actually really love a lot more. All this little decorative detail adds to the texture of it. It's got tiny little feet on it, but I thought this was just so pretty to display on a bookshelf, on top of some books. Just super, super pretty. I love that wood so much. And this was only $2, so super pretty. And then I almost forgot this box, just another super cute box to style in a bookshelf on top of some books. I think it's missing a little clasp, which would have been 
awesome to have that, but it's missing that. But I just like kind of the unique shape of it. Just a little bit different, tall. And on top, it has the shape of a key, which I thought was so cute. I love that. That's so adorable and different. And this was only $2. So I really like that. That's going to be super cute. I think I'm going to use a lot of these items to put in the rental apartment. I just did a new hutch in there, which I'll show you on a video soon. But I think I can use a lot of these items because they have so many shelves. And you guys, I am in love. First of all, look how beautiful this wood bowl is. It's just weathered and worn and so gorgeous. It's got a big crack right there, which makes me love it all the more. So pretty. And it came with this masher, which also has, look at all the cracks on this. I love how just well used, well loved this piece is. I don't know if it's from a store. I think it's from a store, but it doesn't have a label or a marking on it at all. So I don't know for sure, but I think this is absolute perfection. I just think this is so beautiful. Just that patina. In fact, I found a couple of these mashers, antique mashers, real antique mashers at the Los Angeles flea market. And I'll show you those in another haul. I got such a good deal on them. I'm so happy about them. But anyway, look how pretty this is. This is just perfect to me. I'm gonna use this in my hutch. I think it's gorgeous. I love it so much. And I only paid $4.49 for both of these, which I think is such a screaming deal. That is just beautiful to me. So pretty. And then I got this next item. I almost didn't pick it up because I thought it had a few little stains on it and I thought I would never get them out, but I already cleaned it so I cut the tag off, but I saved it to remind myself. I only paid $7.99, so I thought if I can't get the stains out, I didn't spend that much on it, no big deal. So I used OxyClean and Shout and I pre-treated it really, really well, and every single one of the stains came out, and I am so happy and in love. Look how pretty this is. If you can even see that, it is so beautiful. I love just the colors, and it is just so vintage looking, so pretty. I love this. And all the stains were like in the white areas. So I thought, gosh, they're really gonna be noticeable if I can't get them out. But every one of them came out perfect. And I love this so much. I'm gonna use this in the rental apartment. And I just think this is so cute. It's a queen size, so it's a good size. I'm not gonna unfold it because it's really quite large. But a queen size for only eight bucks. So, so cute. I love that. What a great deal on that one. Okay, and then as usual, I got a bunch of these down filled. I'll take the cover off and redonate it. I buy them for this down filled insert and you kind of have to be patient. You want to wait until you find the good quality down filled goose feathers or just feathers but they don't always have them, so you kind of have to be patient. But when they do have them, I will always buy them because I can take the covers off, redonate them, and then I can use them for the green sack pillows that I love to make. In fact, I found some awesome new green sacks. I'll show those in another haul. But these were only $4. And then this one I think is from a different store. That one is $5.99. Those are the small size. Those are smaller size. And then the larger size, and when I say larger, they are 26 by 26. So 
a bigger size. These ones were only $4.99, if you can see that. And then, I don't need to show you all these. I got two more over here that I will use for that cute fabric that I cannot wait to show you. And then I've got two more items and we are done. And I don't know if I've shown this to you before and just forgot to take it out of the room because I don't see a price tag on it, but I don't think so. I always buy these little tables at the thrift store because there's so much you can use them for. This one happens to be quite short. I don't know if you can tell, but it is the perfect size for we have in our guest room. It's got a big standalone tub and I thought this would be perfect next to it with some towels or some just some really fun soaps and stuff on it. But um, I'm gonna, I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint it or sand it down, but this is gonna be perfect to put next to the tub. I don't know if you can even see that, but I don't remember how much I paid for it. I wanna say like just a couple bucks. So anyway, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be so, so cute. Love it. And then I got this massive frame. I always buy these when I see them because I can take the picture out and use them for an oil painting that I find or that I thrift. But this thing is huge. There's my mirror up there. And then this big frame and it is in perfect condition. The linen is just crisp white. The frame, I don't see any chips or anything. And it was in another lady's cart and she put it back. And I was so thrilled because look at this. $6.99, almost unheard of a great deal and I am thrilled. I can't wait to put a picture in there. And that is it for this thrift haul. Come back in a couple days. I'm gonna film right now the next two. I'll upload them in a couple days to see the other items that I got. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have the best rest of your day possible. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.